So I'm getting ready to do my feet as a type 1 diabetic. This is what you should be doing like at least every week. I put some Cuccio Sensual Soak in. That's just what they call it. It's for nails and it's for hands and feet and all of that and massage. I just put three pumps in. And this is just a regular basin. And I'm going to add water into the basin, just like that. All right, so for me, sorry about my hand. I find it very awkward to do this. Um, for me, everything needs to be natural. Um, it doesn't have to be natural for you, but natural ingredients just ensures that I don't have like such a reaction. Um, this is, you know, some scrub for my feet. I also do my legs and I'll massage my feet in that with this. And then this is just simple for my toes. And then I use a very clean cuticle pusher and scraper, but I don't use this so much on my toes because, you know, we're really not allowed. And this is for the Mr. Pumice. Um, this is like your, your sander. And I just set my feet, I set my feet in, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm soaking them. This is like, it's not extremely hot. It's not extremely cold, you know? And then I do use these. They're exfoliating gloves. And let's see if I can show you. Ooh, hold up. Bear with me. So they're washable. You can put them on your hands. And if you don't feel like using a scrubber, you can use these with just some soap and some hot water and scrub your feet that way. Um, a type 1 diabetic should always, always inspect their feet and their toes every single day. And then once a week, you should probably do this just to make sure that you don't have any really bad calluses growing or anything like that. You have to be hyper vigilant, especially when you're on your feet all day. If you are somebody who works works on their feet all day, like you should be checking them. Like for instance, I've been working um extremely like on my feet all day and like I'm noticing this right here that is just swollen from my gait so I know that about myself you should definitely know these kinds of things about yourself if you are type 1 diabetic but look, did you hear my hear my toe crack that was my toe cracking so um I'm probably gonna put some more hot water in here and soak for about 10 minutes all right so this is a little awkward you guys Oh my God, <sighs> the struggle is real. I don't have anything like, you know, expensive or anything. It's just a basin. I've been doing this since I was seven years old. Um, well, I haven't been doing it myself. My grandmother used to do it for me and then check my feet. And well, she loved me very much, but I learned a lot from her. So you take your foot and you're just gonna you don't need the metal or anything like that. Look at my veins showing my age here. So you just, you know what I mean? It's soft. You want to get, it's so soft that you can get on the, on all the sides. And I have a callus right here that I've had since I was little. And I just rub that because sometimes that too can get swollen. And just take circular motions, right? Just on the areas where I feel I need it. I'm not going crazy or anything like that. I'm just, right? And then, of course, you want to get down into those sides. See? Right here you can see that I, I still have some that I need to get.
and then I'll do my other foot. But while I'm here, I check in between my toes, just make sure there's nothing dry in there because any kind of cracking can cause any an infection. Um, I do not use a nail clipper, I actually file my nails down. Um, they need to be straight across. I used to be a runner and in order for a person, a human being, anybody to have really good toes and toenails, they should be straight across. They should not come out. They should not curve and they should never go over the skin. And they should never come out above the skin. They should always, like I could grow a little bit more probably come out to about right here and I would still be safe. Now, if I were a runner or I was walking a lot and whatnot, this coming out to here, being curved or anything like that, that differentiates from the natural curve of the nail, right? Ooh, I just popped it. That causes a fracture that goes down the nail, okay? from walking and putting pressure over and over and over again, it will crack all the way up. I've never had that, but I've seen runners um, where their toes crack up, up, up. That's from them not filing straight across and from having poor foot hygiene. And there's no other reason beyond that. You know what I mean? So that's what you have to do. You have to go straight across and nothing above this toe, the toe line. End of story. So there is like discoloration in here. I know that's really gross, but this is just proof that it does take away those bad skin cells. Eh, uh heh, eh, meh. Now typically I will take like a cuticle pusher and oh, how do I do this? Gently push my cuticles up. Ooh, but I don't think I need, yeah, I don't need that much. Typically, every week, you will need to, and you will notice, like, you'll have a lot of um, protein growth on the nail bed. You know what I mean? But if you're like me, you don't have too much because you're at it like a crazy person. <laughs> okay, hold up. I'm trying so hard. I don't have, um, I don't have one of those thingies from my phone that stands up. So just really, really careful. I push up and like, I don't go too much into like the corners or anything like that. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? Cause you don't want to cut yourself. I mean, it's, it's that serious. So you keep them in there. Soaky, soaky. Now I'm going to show you two ways in which you can slough off like the, um, oh shit, the skin. This is really hard. Um, on the tops and in the middle and around your feet. I like this dirty hippie stuff. I, I get it. It's from Pacha, but I get it from Grove Collaborative and you just, you can scrub it in. You know what I mean? And it doesn't have sugar in it. Like, can you imagine you have cuts on your feet and you're going to use a sugar scrub as a diabetic? No, no, thank you. We don't do that. So you just, you know, Scrubby, scrubby, right? And be gentle. You can come up on the legs or whatever. I don't have to shave, but if I did, I would come up and I would, you know, do that as well. You can also, hold on, let me get my hand. You can also use one of these and just a regular soap. Hold up, I need to get it with my hand. It's in my mouth. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, so it's on my hand, right? And I'm just gonna take it. This works 
just as good, but I like my smelly stuff with my essential oils, 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 and this you can use on your whole body, and they're washable, and you know they're a good investment for people like me, and you can get that dead skin off with it, like rather than pushing up your cuticles, you know what I'm saying? And then when I'm done here, what I do is. I'm not going to do it on film, but I will if I have a lot of dead skin, right? I just take one of these and scrub it off because I don't want to use a cuticle trimmer on myself. There's a lot of rolls here, but this should be good enough to take off that dead skin. You, you shouldn't be like using a cuticle trimmer on your feet if you're type 1. Then the next thing is when they're dry, I will take a buffer and I will buff the nail out to shine it out, right? And that's about, about it. Other than possibly putting on some really good cream and putting socks on and then going to bed. That's, that's something that I do every night, but you know, that's it. When it comes to, this is the this is the last thing I'm gonna say. I'm just, I'm just gonna harp just a little bit. If you decide to have cute acrylic nails, I just wanna tell you that acrylic, right? It'll come out beyond the skin line and then it is harder, right, than gel. Harder to the point where if you get a crack, when you're walking, it splits up the whole nail and it will crack the nail. And Lord Jesus, we can't have that. So for me, what I would do and what I do do, what I do do is I will use a little bit of builder gel during the summer and then I'll just use gel polish and that's it. When it comes to press-ons, I might do that maybe once or twice during the summer and that's it. Because the health of our feet is so important. I mean, I can't stress that enough. I mean, if you can't walk, you can't really do much. So if you're type 1 diabetic, I advise you to do gel <laughs> and not acrylic. Because it, it it's so hard, right? It's harder than your own natural nail. And if you have, if you're walking, boom, 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 like that, the nail can't flex, it's going to eventually break. Well, you, you run the chance of it. So that's it. That's all I want to say. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.